सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माई चैनल फाइस आई इन टूडेज लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट एन अनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑन लेकिन डायनेमिक्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव वी हैव ए मास विच इज ऑन एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन एंड इट इज कनेक्टेड बाय दिस पुली लेट से दिस पुली इज यू नो फ्रिक्शन लेस okay and uh, via string it is connected to another mass okay which is also a movable pulley okay and it this uh, string is finally connected uh, with the uh, rigid support okay uh, uh, now uh, uh, let's say uh, this mass is uh, you know much greater than this uh, uh, this mass so this uh, this uh, small mass can uh, go over this Uh, inclined plane okay and uh, the coefficient of friction uh, between the mass m and this plane is mu so uh, the force of friction uh, will be if it is going upward the force of friction will be downwards okay so uh, if i divide it into components then the uh, the ma the weight of this mass m will be downwards and it has two components and uh, this component is actually mg cos theta this is theta so and this component will be mg sin theta okay and uh, this is the normal reaction okay now uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to find the lagrangian and the equation of motion for this mass system uh, the small ma mass and uh, this uh, uh, heavier mass okay uh, uh, we know we uh, we know we need uh, generalized coordinates to solve this problem let's say uh, we have two generalized coordinates uh, this is x uh, which is the uh, distance of the small mass m from this pulley remember this pulley is frictionless but this surface is not uh, frictionless okay and uh, another uh, coordinate we can take by this pulley okay uh, from this pulley uh, the mass uh, is at uh, say at a distance of y okay now when uh, uh, this pulley uh, will uh, move downwards the distance moved by this pulley will be equal to half of the distance moved by the small mass now how uh, because uh, we uh, we can see that if uh, it is down by uh, say by y so uh, this x must be by 2y okay so from this uh, i uh, we can write that uh, y is equal to x by 2 okay this is a very important relation okay and y dot will be equal to x dot by 2 and y double dot is equal to x double dot by 2 no what we are doing actually you see by doing this we uh, we are left with uh, just one coordinate x or y okay so we 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 have to solve the equation only for this coordinate x okay and it will be suffice for us so uh, let's uh, start uh, finding the uh, lagrangian for this particular uh, mass system now the lagrangian will be equal to first of all we have to find the kinetic energy okay the kinetic energy will be equal to first of all kinetic energy of this this will be equal to half of m x dot square and then kinetic energy of this this will be equal to half of capital m and then y dot square okay y dot square okay <laughs> this is the uh, required kinetic energy and then potential energy now this mass is you know moving upwards so, so it is gaining uh, potential energy so it will be positive and will be given by mg and x and then uh, taking its uh, this component and this component will be equal to x sin theta okay 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 
now and this is going downwards so uh, the potential energy will be equal to minus of m and g uh, this is capital m and g and y now using these two these equations i can rewrite this equation as okay l will be equal to half of small m x dot square i'm ch i'm changing uh, the whole equation uh, i'm writing this whole equation in terms of uh, you know x so it will be equal to half of m and this will be equal to using this y dot will you do x dot square and divide by 4 and then minus mgx sin theta and this will become minus minus plus and mg uh, and y can be replaced by x divided by 2 okay this is the required Lagrangian for this mass system okay this is required Lagrangian and we can see we have only one coordinate that is act so <coughs> uh, now we'll have to uh, find the equation of motion remember in this particular problem we have the we have to uh, find the generalized force as well generalized force okay so in so in this case the generalized force will be equal to mu r Okay, this is this this frictional force is the generalized force and we can write it mu and then r r can be written as small m and g and cos theta. Okay. Okay. So the Lagrangian equation for uh, this uh, can be written as uh, d upon dt. Of del l upon del x dot del l upon del x is equal to zero or oh, sorry uh, not zero in this case it will be equal to gk okay now let us find the derivative del l by del x okay from this equation we can see that del l, del l upon del x will be given by minus mg sin theta and then plus mg divided by 2 very simple and then del l upon del x dot will be given by okay these two terms contain the x dot term so it will be equal to m x dot okay taking the derivative with respect to x dot and then plus capital M and then X dot and then 4 okay now putting these two equation and this equation in this equation the Lagrangian equation what we'll get we'll get uh, I should write it here okay so it will be equal to uh, d upon dt of then uh, <coughs> m plus m divided by 4 to x dot okay writing this in, okay minus and we have to write this this become plus mg sin theta and this become minus capital mg divided by 2 and this whole will be equal to this that is mu mg cos theta now taking derivative of this equation uh, what will get uh, we'll get uh, small m plus capital m divided by 4 and then x double dot okay and uh, i can take these two terms on the other side and we'll get oh, sorry we'll get uh, minus
minus mg sin theta then plus mg divided by 2 and then plus mu mg cos theta okay now x double dot will be equal to minus mg sin theta plus mg divided by 2 plus mu mg cos theta and this whole is divided by small m plus capital M divided by 4. Now this is the required equation of motion for this particular mass system. As you have seen this problem is uh, uh, not that difficult or not that difficult but you have to uh, uh, firstly you have to find uh, what are the uh, minimum number of general coordinates and uh, after that the equation will become simple okay now <coughs> we also uh, see that the y double dot the y double dot is equal to x double dot by y double dot is equal to x double dot by 2 okay so putting this x double dot in this we will get y double dot is equal to minus mg sin theta plus mg divided by 2 plus mu mg cos theta divided by 2m plus m divided by 4 so these are the required equation of motion for this mass system so uh, guys thank you uh, in the next lecture uh, we will discuss about another problem okay so